Hi, welcome to this lab on NoSQL database MongoDB. I am Alisa Sanveer and in this lab we will learn how to download and install MongoDB on Windows operating system. Follow the steps that will be shown in the video to install MongoDB Community Edition using the MongoDB Installer Wizard. The installation process installs both the MongoDB binaries as well as the default configuration file. So, the first step is to install the MongoDB community.msi installer from this particular link. From the version drop down menu, select the version of MongoDB that you want to install for your system. From the platform drop down, select Windows. And then finally, from the package drop down menu, select .msi and click download. It will take some time to download. After the download is completed, from the file explorer, go to the directory where MongoDB installer is downloaded and then double click the .msi file. The wizard steps you through the installation of MongoDB. To begin the setup, firstly agree to the license agreement. Then from the choose setup type, you can either choose complete or custom setup type. The complete setup will install MongoDB and the MongoDB tools to the specified location whereas the custom setup allows you to specify which executables are installed. In service configuration, select install MongoDB as a service. Then select either run the service as network service user or run the service as a local or domain user. Then select a service name and a suitable location for data directory and log directory. And click next. Here you have the wizard to install MongoDB Compass along with MongoDB Community Edition. You can either check the checkbox to install or uncheck it. And then when you are ready, click install. The installation will take some time to complete and after completion of the installation, simply click finish and in this way MongoDB will be downloaded to your system. Before we move towards data import, there are some steps that must be performed in order to use the Mongo import utility. And for that, from the start window, search CMD and run it as administrator. Once command prompt is opened, we will change the current directory to the directory where your MongoDB folder is present. After changing the directory, now we will run the Mongo import command to import the JSON file. For that, type the command as shown on the screen. Here, we will use the JSON array flag to define that our file is going to be a JSON file. Then we will use the DB flag to give the name of the database into which you want to import the data. The database name can be of an existing database or if the collection of such name does not exist then a new database of the same name will be created. Similarly, we will use the collection flag to mention the name of the collection and here you can see that my JSON file is placed in the same directory so I will simply give the name of the file instead of providing its complete path. Then press enter and you will see that your file will be imported to the database successfully. Now we will move towards the second step which is to check the imported data and to check whether the data has been successfully imported into the database or not. And for that, we will open our Mongo shell and we will make a connection to our MongoDB server running on the local machine. Once the connection is established, we will then run the show DBS command to view that our database into which we migrated the data is successfully created. We will use this database CarDB to check whether the data has been successfully imported or not. Then we will enter the command db.cars.find to display all the records present in the collection. Upon executing the command, you will see that all the data from the JSON file has been successfully migrated to our CarsDB. Now we are going to import the CSV file into our MongoDB database and for that once again we are going to use the mongo import command. Here first we will define the type of the file that we are going to import which is a CSV file. Then we will use the db flag to define the name of the database into which we want to import the data. 
then we will use the collection flag to explain the name of the collection into which we want to import the data then we will use the file flag to give the path of the file where it is present here my file is present in the d directory so i am going to provide its path with the extension and finally we are going to use the header line flag which is going to uh, tell the mongo import utility to start reading the file from the first line upon executing the query you can see that our csv file has been successfully imported into our database now we are going to see whether the data has been actually imported or not using the mongo shell now in the mongo shell first we will use the show dbs command to view all the databases here you can see that our database pet db has been created now let's check whether the data has been imported or not here we are going to use the database and after using the database we are going to display all the collections which are present in the pet db here you can see that pets collection is present now we are going to use the function db dot pets dot find and it is going to display all the records that are present in the pets collection here you can see that all the data which was present in our csv file has been successfully migrated to the pets db database into the collection pets and this is how you can import different types of data into the mongodb using the mongo shell thank you